All right. So let's go ahead and do my favorite part of the show. Speaking of giving back. So for the new people who have never seen this before, one of the things that I do do is I lend to a wonderful organization called Kiva. Oh, looks like the one I selected earlier today uh, has already been selected. Okay, so we have to start over. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So one second. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Share screen. Wow. There we go. So Kiva is a microfinance website. Absolutely love these guys. They're just great. And what they do is uh, they allow you to give loans to people all across the world. So for example, when you go over Lend, Category, let's look at uh, Eastern Europe, for example. Okay, hang on. Now let's pick a country. Uh, how about Albania? Just as an example. And then you can see all the people in Albania that are looking for loans. So now you have Anxhella. And you say, what do they want here? She's 25 and she's mom with three little daughters. She lives in a small village and she works in a shoe factory. I and mean, her husband is in a vehicle graveyard and during his days off, he collects scraps. Her husband's a scrap merchant. She wants to buy a cow and they have some land and use for feeding the cow and her family and have some dairy products to consume and sell. Oh, okay. And what's she looking for? She needs a total of $2,950 and there's $1,000 to go. So that's an example of a lending program and they're all over the world. So let's have you guys have some say, where should we donate? What part of the world? Come on, give me some ideas. Countries, continents, topics. Moldova, Oklahoma City, Latvia, Mexico, Romania, China, India, Philippines, Haiti. You know what? Let's see what we got in Haiti. Okay, so let's go over here. That'll be in the Caribbean. Uh, that's probably in the North American continent then. Haiti it is. What do we got in Haiti? We got Gary in Haiti. Hey, Gary, how you doing? He needs $1,425, and he's running a grocery store. So let's read his story. More about this loan. Uh, let's see. Gary increased his stock of rice, millet, sugar, which he sold crisply. He's requesting a new loan to increase supplies of milk, maize, and corn. 12-month term, disbursement date, April 14th. He's already got 2700 Well, shit. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing real quickly to sign in. Glasses off. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to lend the full amount to Gary. How are you doing, Gary? Maybe I could lend more. That's 500. Lend now. Proceed to checkout. Okay. PayPal. Okay, got to enter a code right here. Just a second. Alrighty. Sorry, I've never logged into PayPal before on this device. So I have to enter in a special security code just for that. Okay, check out. Boom. All right, let me share my screen again. Okay, so we just gave a loan to Gary for $1,400. There we go. Thank you for supporting Gary. And let's take a look at our loan portfolio. So go to my portfolio. And let's see who's doing what where. So I've made eight loans so far. So I've done one for every, um, one for every AMA uh, recently. 
And we have a uh, loan in Togo, one in the Philippines, one in Mexico, one in Peru, one in Kenya, one in Cambodia. Uh, and uh, we also have Senegal. And you'll notice that they're starting to repay. Uh, and actually pretty good. Almost all six of the seven have actually made payments back. The, the Senegalese group is having a little trouble because there's some things going on there. And Gary is the most recent one. And so far I've lent out uh, 4,675 bucks. And we have about 4,200 in outstanding loans. How about that? So one of my goals is that Cardano will have a peer-to-peer -peer microfinance uh, capability. And then you guys not only can lend, but actually make interest. You know, far more than you would from a normal bond or something like 5 10%. Uh, and if we can structure it the right way, we can actually not only cut out the middleman, but also put sovereign guarantees in and all kinds of things to get very high repayment rates, like above 90%. And I think this alone will result in billions of dollars being put into the developing world, helping a lot of people and making people's lives a lot better. So you'll also notice that a lot of regions are zoned off. Like, I don't think I can lend to Ethiopia or Afghanistan or other places. Um, and that's not because... Uh, there's no one there who wants a loan. It's because of infrastructural issues or capital controls or other things that are preventing those markets from working properly. Uh, and so one of the cool things about a peer-to-peer -peer lending system that's truly peer-to-peer -peer and uh, it's there for you, you can lend to anybody in the world and the law does not care. Okay. Well, anyway, everyone, this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for listening. I enjoyed it. Hopefully as much as you enjoyed listening to it, and I will see you soon. See you for Cardano 360 soon. Cheers.